Hello. Hello, teacher. How are you? How are you? Thank you. Great. Thanks for your uh, very practical practice you put in your pages. Oh, and, wonderful. Uh, very funny and uh, witty uh, manner of your teaching. It's impressive. Thank you so right. much for your teaching. Keep it going. Ah, you're welcome. All right. Uh, so today I have some pictures, and I'm going to ask you to choose a number so we can know which picture to use. Okay. Okay. Mm, picture number seven. Number seven. All right. Here seven, we go. Yeah. So, give me just a second. I have to get your picture. Three, four, five, six. It's related to your last post about when we die. What happened? <laughs> no, <laughs> no, not, not not this time. This is well. All of the pictures today, we will see people having a conversation. Uh -huh. So we will talk mm -hmm. about the people and we'll describe the picture. Are you ready to go? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Sure. Let me switch around, and so you chose number seven. Okay, so this is the picture. Can you describe what you see? Uh, I see three beautiful ladies are backbiting about. <laughs> back, uh, they are. They are talking about they they routines. And you wanted okay. to ex uh, you wanted to reach my unconscious mind. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that. We can reach your imagination. That works. Can <laughs> Can yeah. you tell me first I'm just about kidding. the? I'm just kidding. I'm a psychologist, and I'm familiar with this kind of tests. Oh, okay. All right. Well, can you explain to me the location and the time of day? We'll start there. Uh, about the picture? Yes. Yeah. Uh, I think uh, it's a gathering, weekly gathering, in a home, in, a, uh, in one of their home or a coffee shop, maybe. Okay. And they are eating black tea. All right. And and I think the red the red one is very emotional girl because uh, her face expression is very highlighted than the two others. Uh huh. And what and time do you think? What time do you think it is? What time? Mm -hmm. Evening. <laughs> okay, sure. It's still bright out. So if you would have said night time, then it wouldn't have made sense. <laughs> <laughs> let's see. <laughs> Thank you. So let's let's see. The subject matter that they're talking about. Would you say it is uplifting, depressing, or what would you say? No, it's uh, it's not depressing. It is very joyful party. Uh, right. We could say uplifting. Okay. Uplifting. And, yeah. And who who or what do you think is the subject of their conversation? As I said, uh, actually it was joke, but I said they are backbiting. They they are what? I'm sorry. Backbiting. Backbiting. Yeah. You mean like gossiping? Yeah, gossiping about. Uh huh. But uh, yeah, it may be uh, about their academics, their daily routines, or planning for a trip, or planning for a birthday. Sure. Can can you give me some possibilities how they know each other? Um, 
maybe they were uh, uh, they are they were studying in same university or school maybe they are family or make relationship virtually mm -hmm. or they are uh, are are in common community sure uh, we have lots of possibilities right classmates yeah. schoolmates na or neighbors maybe, family or maybe they are or may, uh, sorry or maybe they are from arabian country they are uh, three of them are uh, wife of one man <laughs> <laughs> I guess it's possible. It, it can be anything, right? Because we can use our imagination. Okay. Yeah. All right, let's see. I'm going to switch back around. And you were able to okay. see the picture and see the details. Yeah. Can you ask ask me one question about the situation? Uh, about the situation. Hmm. Which one of them is most sociable daughter in your idea? Hmm, which one is the most sociable? I think it's probably one of the two on the left. Maybe, probably the one in the middle with the red shirt. She just seems yeah. to be full of life, full of so, excitement, <laughs> and very yeah. animated about whatever she's yeah. talking about. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess so. Okay, all right. And one well, thank you. question. Ah. Uh, <laughs> you gotta be, got to be quick because i got to move forward. Yeah, which one of that girls are single? Which one is single? Yeah. I think they they <laughs> all are single, and and they're comparing. I don't know, comparing their boyfriends, or maybe they're they're single, so they're comparing the different guys at work. Who is the most handsome? Yeah. Who is the most eligible bachelor? Great gossip yeah. material. <laughs> <laughs> Thank okay. you. I right. thank you. you. Yes. All right. I know the other other uh, uh, your uh, fans uh, are waiting to speak with you <laughs> and uh, participate in this very interesting discussion. So uh, I, I cut the corners to give time to others too. But okay. if not anyone come to join to you, I will come back to you and. I love to speak to you again. Okay. All right. Well, thank you, and you're welcome to come back in the future, okay? Thank you so much, and... Tutu? Hello, Hello, Teacher Michael. Hello. Hello, Teacher Michael. How are you? Uh, great. Are you... Uh, is your name Teacher Michael? Or something else? Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yes, my name Can... is Michael. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Okay, I need you to choose a number and then I will show you a picture. I'll go with number two. Number two. All right, so let me find your picture because you chose number two. I, I really hope it is easy to be described. No, we don't want easy, we want challenging. <laughs> oh, <laughs> help me with that. I need your help. <laughs> we want to guarantee improvement, right? If we're too comfortable, then... There's no way to guarantee that we improve. Okay, okay. I have your picture. Let's you go with go? the difficult one, the most difficult one. Okay, yes, I'm ready. <laughs> Here we go. All right, number two. Here is the picture. Okay, uh, are they a man and a woman? I can't see really well because the picture is like dark to me. Uh -huh. Is Are they a man and a woman? Well, I see pretty much the same thing you do, and it's, I would guess that they are a man and a woman, but like you said, it's just a black and white picture, and we can't oh, okay. see a lot of the left person. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, they are two adult uh, persons, maybe they are a, a husband and a wife, okay, they are sitting and watching uh, the the green nature around them, maybe it is green. I think it's green nature. They are looking and enjoying their time. They are talking about their life and something like that. They are old enough. 
Sure. They are adults, okay. Maybe they are friends, old friends, okay. or husband and wife. But I really want to go with their husband and wife, okay. Uh, they are sitting on a deck, and next to or in a garden or something like that. Mm, it is a daytime. What can we call the place uh, in front of them? It is a uh, hill or a wide green lands? Well, uh, first I wanted to say that they're probably sitting on a wooden bench. A wooden and, bench, okay. Right. And in front of them, I mean, it doesn't look that incredible, but <laughs> I would call it a field. And it kind of looks like in the background there might be, I'm going to try to point at it, there might be a path right here. Going to yes. another place. So it's some sort of field. I don't know. Maybe there's a pond off the screen or something like that. Maybe it's in a park. I don't know. But in, in the far background, it looks like there might be uh, bushes or trees. But in front of them, I would say it's an open field of grass and some okay. other, I don't know, stuff. Yeah. I think it's like a countryside. They are a countryside persons. And they are okay. sitting and watch their lands, uh -huh. their properties, like something like that. Right. How about the the weather? How does it feel to sit outside on the bench right now? Uh, I think the weather is cold, even if it is sunny, but it is cold because they are wearing coats. Uh huh. Okay. It is sunny, but maybe it is uh, in the autumn season. Before winter, that sometime that uh, season can be cold. Okay. All right. Um, or at the beginning of winter, something like that. Sure. Okay. And if uh -huh. I told, I'm going to tell you something, and you tell me whether or not the picture, the evidence in the picture supports my statement. Okay. Okay. If I told you they are strangers and they don't know each other, how would you respond? I don't think that they are strangers because they are really sitting close to each other. Uh -huh. the, if they are strangers, there must be a space between them. I can't sit, in my life, I can't sit with a stranger one next right to her and talk to her, okay? If it is really somebody I know really well, I will sit next to her. They are even like touching each other. Their uh -huh. shoulders are touching each other. It's not for a strange person. Uh, a strange person would not do that. Right. It would be kind of awkward if someone came and sat close to you like that, if you, especially if you didn't know them. Yes. Okay. And Even they are leaning to watch each other. Okay. This kind of sitting in... Uh, Declare that they are in uh, familiar with each, with the, each other. Okay. Can you give me three different possibilities as to their relationship to each other? Friends, husband okay. and wife, or sister and brother. Sure. Sure. Some some close connection that they have. Um, the the person on the left, I believe, is a woman. How would you describe how her feet are positioned? We can't see her legs completely, but we can see the height of the feet. What do you think she's doing? Uh, she puts one knee uh, above another one. I don't uh, know how to explain this kind of sitting. Sure, you could say she is crossing her legs, probably yes, at the knees. Okay. Again, again, uh -huh. say it, crossing her legs uh, at the knees. Sure. I would say crossing her legs at the knees because sometimes when people relax and they put their feet like on the coffee table, they might cross their legs at the ankles. But her, I, I would say she's crossing her legs at the knees. Yes, exactly. Sure. Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to turn back around. You have seen the picture and absorbed everything in it. Can you ask me a question about the situation? Okay, describe the whole situation in your point of view. <laughs> I want That's to know about yours. That how can you describe it? The, the, okay, let's see. Well, 
if I was walking by maybe and I glance and I stop and I saw the situation, I would say it looks like there is a man and a woman sitting in the middle of a wooden bench. They're facing away from me. Uh, the man is slightly turned, and I'm going to go back to the picture again. He's slightly turned toward the woman, um, and the woman is almost facing straight forward. Uh, it looks like the woman has a, a stocking hat on her head. They both have dark, I'm sorry, dark, dark thick, warm coats. It looks kind of like a chilly day out, even though there's, like you said, the bright sunshine. And they both have boots on. And the, I imagine they're only going to stay for a little while because the bench is probably quite cold and making their bottoms quite cold. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so... And if it's that cold out, the the bench is probably frozen too, so then it's going to be cold quickly. Mm -hmm. But it's uh, getting uh, hot as long as they're sitting on it. On it. Uh huh. <laughs> and it'll get even warmer if there's a romantic relationship, right? Who cares about I... the cold? We have each other. <laughs> yes, <laughs> you're true. <laughs> yeah, you're an amazing teacher. Thank you for accepting my request. Ah, thank you for coming live. You're welcome to come back in the future. I have uh, asked or sent a lot of requests, but you never accepted them. You have accepted just three times, and this is my fourth time. After that, you never accepted. <laughs> I wouldn't say never, because many other people have only come live once or twice. Yes, you I know. Mm. I know. Thank you for All the right. other <laughs> requests uh, until you are accepted. Time. Inshallah. Right. Next one. Uh -huh. hey, uh -huh. You look very familiar. Welcome back. <laughs> yeah, oh my gosh. You still oh. remember me. <laughs> yes, I, I don't always remember the names, but the faces I remember. Okay, are you ready Thank to you. choose a number? Yes, I choose number one. Number one. Okay, all right, here we go. Let me find your picture. So all of the pictures today have people. And they're All having right. conversations, so here we go. Let's do it. That's no picture number one, and there it is. Okay, so tell me what you see. I see two guys. Um, they're having a conversation, and uh, one guy is he is um, he's kind of excited, uh, you know, when he talks to the other guys. I mean, both of them are excited. And um, what else? Uh, they are wearing a cap, I guess. Is that a cap? The one on the right or the left? Uh, on the right there. Um, on the left, I guess. No, the no, one, the right, the right, the right, the right. One. Okay, yeah, we could say. I'm gonna put my pen if we can see. He's wearing probably yeah, a, yeah. a stocking cap or a winter cap. We could say. Winter okay. cap, all right. What about what we, the other? Yes, what do we call that? Because this one is, whoop, it's part of his coat, right? It's called, yeah, yeah. It's called a hood. A hood. Hood, hood, yeah. It's like hoodie, I guess. It's similar, right? So a hoodie would similar, be like yeah. with a sweatshirt, uh, but this is probably a hood with a coat. And I think, oh, right. oh, yeah, yeah. I don't know if it's part of the coat or if it's a scarf, but yes. Yeah, yeah it's like a scarf, but. It, yeah, and the other guy, he's wearing, you know, gloves yes. because they, they, in it is, I guess it is in the winter time, so okay. yeah, it's it's gonna be cold over there. I can see and I can tell from the picture that the weather is kind of cold over there, uh -huh. and. Uh, the guy who's wearing the winter cap, he's wearing um, a blue t-shirt, uh, not, not t-shirt, a blue shirt, I guess. Sure, you could say or, a blue shirt, you could also say a blue dress shirt. Yeah, blue dress shirt, and also, uh, he's also wearing a black jacket, both of them. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah. That's that's all I can tell. <laughs> You're doing very and, well. And and uh, the guy who's wearing the blue shirt, he's also wearing a yellow pant. 
uh-huh. hands. Yeah. Kind of a and dark other, yellow the, or a light brown, huh? Yeah, yeah, a, a little dark. Okay. And so, yeah, it's you, almost like brown, but it's still yellow, I think. Right. And the other, gu- the other guy, he's wearing uh, black pants. Okay. And what would you say, what is the location? I'd say the location is at the park, and yeah. And I guess they're having a conversation about um, the situation around uh, around where they are, and they're also. Wait a minute. Let me just try to imagine. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, I think they don't know each other, and they just met in that place. Okay. Yeah. And, um, so they're, they're strangers. Ah, so they're very friendly strangers, and they're enjoying a conversation. Yeah, yeah. How can we, yeah. Des- how can we describe this guy's hands? The guy on the left, he's making movements with his hands. How would we describe that? If I can... Um, um, what is that? He's trying to... Pointing out to something? I don't know. I, uh-huh. I don't really know that. Sure. Uh, sure. Well, I guess the so, first thing we notice... <laughs> go, go ahead. So, uh, what what do we call that? Well, I think the first thing I would notice is that he's not wearing gloves, right? He just has his yeah, bare yeah. hands. So his hands yeah, might yeah. be cold, but in, during the course of their conversation, he's probably explaining something or wants to give yeah. extra, extra emphasis to something. So he's raising his hands and kind of doing gestures. We could say gestures. Oh, with yeah, yeah, it's, it's gesture. Our movement. It's just a, yeah, to, to make sure that uh, his conversation partner understand what he's saying. Right. So right. he's wearing gesture and make a movement like that. Right. And can you give me uh, three possible conversation topics or subjects that they might be talking about? All right. So they are going to be talking about, um, well, Politics, I don't really, <laughs> I don't really believe that they're trying to talk about politics because they both seems to be very happy. Um, because you know, when it comes to politics, uh, it's not going to be as happy as that. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I think um, they're trying to have a conversation about uh, places or oh, where are you from? Like oh, I'm from this and from that oh uh, this place in my place there are a lot of things like this and that and the other one Mm -hmm. so that is the first topic so they're trying to talk about uh, the places where they live and the second topic is that they are trying to uh, have a conversation about um, education I guess well yeah I guess education because sometimes uh, it, it, it looks kind of match okay and the third one um, they're trying to have a conversation about what they're doing in their life sure it's like hobbies and things like that uh, what do you like oh I like music and yeah so what do you do for a living or something like that you know? sure because they seem to be very happy and they share um, a very happy life to each other so yeah right and I was just thinking the first the first topic that you had given that maybe they're talking about where they're from maybe one said you know I'm from France or something yeah yeah and the other one said, oh I went to France two years ago or something and they're like oh, yeah I'm yeah uh-huh yeah, yeah. It, it was a nice place, blah, 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 something right. like that. Okay, so you saw the picture. Can you ask me one question about the situation? All right, so um, about the situation, I think uh, the question that I want to ask you is going to be, um, where, the, where is it going to be? Is it going to be in the U.S., in Australia, or where do you think the place is going to be? Uh huh. So, what is the location of this conversation, or what is the location of this situation? Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Well, 
Uh, and, and I mean, you know, in general, like in the country, and specifically, where is it? Where is it? Okay. Well, I will guess. Hmm. Let's go back. Take a peek. Somewhere where they have winter and you have to wear warm clothing. I'm gonna guess Canada. Yes. And I would Canada. say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe, yeah. Maybe, <laughs> I, I... maybe Toronto or Montreal in the in not quite deep winter, but probably late late fall. Before there's a whole bunch of snow. Yeah, yeah, I agree with that. Uh huh. Sure. Okay. Well, very well done. Very. Uh, you kept going, right? You had more words to say, even though everything yeah. is just copied into your head. There's no script. Very well done. Yeah. Thank you, sir. <laughs> okay. All right. Thank you for coming live, and you're welcome to come yeah. back again and, in the and, future. And by the way, sir, uh, yeah. I want to ask you a question. Uh, so. I've seen in your post uh, there is a girl. Is that your daughter? It is my daughter. Oh, your, all right. Your, your, your next question is probably, but she doesn't look like you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Because she looks very Indonesian. Ah, uh, well, but, my wife is my yeah. wife is Chinese, so she's somewhere in oh. between my wife and I. Hopefully. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Have a wonderful Salamat Malam. Salamat Malam, sir. Okay. All right. Hello. It's working. How's it going? Good. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. I think the third time, the third time is the charm, or the third time is lucky. Yes. The third time is the charm. I don't know. There's it's the mysterious world of Instagram. Yeah. Because it is my third time that I can try to join. Uh huh. Well, success. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Here we go. Which one would you like? Three. Because number third three. Time, three. Yeah. Ah. Sticking with number three, third time. All right. Let me find yeah. your picture. All right. Here we go. Are you ready? I'm. I was born ready. Uh huh. <laughs> All right. Here we go. So picture Definitely. number three. No. All right, more people. Okay, I think. Uh, let me think about it first. There are two people in this scene. That one of them is a woman, and another is a. a, a I think he, he is a boy. And I think. The woman is wearing a hat. Okay. Uh, it's a kind of uh, and wearing a sun hat. Sun hat. And we could... the boy. Go ahead. The boy uh, is sitting in a chair and looking. They they are looking at the beach. They are at the beach and near the coast. And yeah, it's a beautiful scene. The sky and the sea are blue, and they are looking at the horizon. Uh huh. Yeah. And uh, what else? Well, I'll just make one quick comment. You had mentioned the hat, and you said kind of like a sun hat. Whoop. I'm making it out of focus, but it has uh, kind of, the, we can call it a wide-brimmed hat, and I'm just going to show you. If it's a hat that comes out and there's a part that goes all the way around, this part yeah. is called the brim, so it's a wide-brimmed brim, yeah. hat, and it goes all the way around. Okay? And can you describe her interesting shirt? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I think... I don't know the, the the adjective that we use for this shirt. It's a kind of uh, mm, how can I say that? Could, could could we say? Is it possible that we say it looks maybe like camouflage or maybe like a leopard skin? Yeah, 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 <laughs> exactly like a leopard skin. Yeah, yeah, uh -huh. yeah, and and. The man 
I think his his son or or his husband or her husband, sorry. Okay. Uh, maybe they are thinking about the past memory ah. or looking at sea. Uh-huh. Uh, I think and... the season is uh, uh, maybe it's spring or summer, but uh-huh. it sounds it sounds it's summer, yeah. Okay. The sun is shining, and uh, there is a wave in the sea. Yeah. And why is one person standing and the other one is sitting? Because why aren't they no both chair. sitting or both standing? Because there is no chair for one of them, <laughs> <laughs> and one of them ha- has to stand up beside her, or maybe her husband. Yeah. And then the next important question is: How did they? Respectable. <laughs> oh, okay. I was going to say. How did they decide who gets the chair? <laughs> maybe the, her husband is older than him, or he cannot stand, and maybe he think that his authority that he should sit on the chair. <laughs> uh huh. Uh huh. Or maybe so he... maybe he's a little he is disabled, cannot stand in on his foot feet. Uh huh. Yeah. So. If she made him stand up, that would be kind of mean, then, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. And I'm going to ask you. Go ahead. Maybe uh, his wife is. Uh, his wife is respecting him. Yeah, he's respecting uh-huh. her to stand up and demand uh, sit on the chair. So, assuming that they are married. How long do you think they've been married to each other? I think uh, they married each other about forty or fifty because they are not young or they are uh, over the hill. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> and yeah. what do you what do you think the husband thinks of his wife's leopard skin shirt? Uh, she thinks that is a good good on her because, and she admire his, his her clothes, her clothes. Uh-huh. Yeah. Or I think they are thinking about the past and their memories about when they have together. Yeah. And it's 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 impossible to tell, but would you say? They had a good life together, or a difficult life. They had a good life because they are, I think they are close to each other, and I think they had, they had a good life that stayed with each other until now. Uh huh. Yeah. Ah. Okay. Well, I'm going to turn back around, and you saw the picture. So, can you ask me a question about the situation? Uh, let me ask a philosophical question mm. and in this way. <laughs> what should we do? What should we do in our life that, or what is that we shouldn't regret in the future about it? What should Ooh. we do? <laughs> 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 well. Hmm, and you're going to ask me to give like a a very short sentence answer, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, hmm, let's see. Okay, I have a good, I think what is a good answer, and I think about it in my life, is that we need to design our life. We need to be actively involved in our future, not just flowing along with everyone, everything else. So I like the word to design my life, to design my lifestyle. I and, think. And, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Sorry to interrupt. Sorry to interrupt. Go oh, ahead. I was saying, 
when when I design my life, I feel more fulfilled. I feel much happier. Um, I can provide more value to my family when I'm in control of my future. And uh, I can respond to this question in this way that we should push, um, we should, we should uh, put the past behind, and we live in the moment, and we do not worry about the future. Mm. Because few, thinking about the future ruin, ruins our moment, and um, stay in the past ruin our moment. Yeah, that's the way okay. of uh, living. Have a better life, you know. How how about this? Is would you agree if I said we can learn from the past, enjoy the present, and be excited about the future? What do you think? It's, it sounds great. A, a great <laughs> quote that you made. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Uh -huh. Because no. our past is our teacher, mm -hmm. and our future is. Uh, unforeseeable we cannot predict the future yeah mm -hmm. exactly i like your sentences yeah <laughs> okay well I thank you thank you for having me i hope you are having a good life you are an energetic teacher and have a great one okay all right have a wonderful right. day thank you for coming live bye bye I All right. Hello. We're in a car. Hi. Hello. How are you? Hello. Thank you. How are you doing? Good. The first time it wouldn't connect, but here we are, so it's okay. Yes, yes. We're on our way for a journey. I hope it works. Okay. It's so far, yeah. All right. Let's see. Here are your choices. Uh, just like always, number six. Number six, still available. Okay. All right. Let me quick find your picture. So all of the pictures today have people, and we will describe what they're doing. Okay, here we go. All right, number six. Okay, so what's happening in this picture? Uh-huh. Uh, the picture demonstrate a conversation situation. It may be between two uh, colleagues. It just like a, a business maybe interview, an interviewer and interviewee, perhaps, mm -hmm. based on based on some documents in that woman's hand. And it looks that the man. It's trying to convince her <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, because of the uh, body language and uh -huh. the gesture, I think. And the other one is, I think, uh, in a far side, so in the right side of the picture, I can see only the hand, I think. Perhaps there uh -huh. are three persons. Right here, right? Yeah, yeah exactly. It's a knee uh -huh. and a hand above it. Right. And who do you think is interviewing who? Who is the interviewer and who is the interviewee? Um, from my perspective, the woman with the glasses, the serious glasses, <laughs> just like you when you're quizzing, <laughs> uh -huh. can be the interviewer. Uh, okay. And the man on the left side is the interviewee. From my perspective, uh -huh. I don't know. Uh-huh. Sure, anything's possible as long as we can maybe defend our response, right? If the evidence yeah. is there. Um, yes. And before you had mentioned that the guy might be trying to convince her of something. Yeah. Can you can you give some possible reasons that he might be trying to convince her of something? Uh, I don't know. Maybe she's blaming him because of some mistakes or some I don't know faults in the in the in his job, perhaps there has been some incongruity <laughs> in the progress. So they um, ask him, what have you done? <laughs> so the man is trying to, <laughs> yeah, trying to convince them. Ah, 
So maybe there was some sort of maybe workplace accident and they're trying to figure out what happened and who's to blame and it yeah. looks like he he did it. <laughs> Perhaps, but, but the face, the man's face is really innocent. <laughs> he, he, he couldn't do anything wrong. <laughs> uh huh. Sure. Yeah. And, and, and how I, old? I think the information, the information in that documents are quite confidential because the gesture of the woman, um, the woman's gesture, the way he she uh, holds the document, it's yeah, kind of confidential. Some something, I don't know, ser very serious and confidential in that document that man shouldn't see or yes. Sure. <laughs> So the notebook or the book she's holding, she's holding it close to her chest, right, with her arm wrapped around it. Yes, yes, she so does tight. It. <laughs> and I bet the guy's like, maybe he's trying to convince her, come on, just give me a peek of your notes. Yeah. I need to see what's happening. Yes, give me another opportunity. <laughs> I can prove myself. Uh, right. And how old do you think the man is and how old is the woman? The man is between, I don't know, um... Uh, 40 to 45, and the woman is younger, perhaps 35 to 40. And I don't know okay. about the other guy out of the out of the frame. Okay. And I'm going to give you, I'm going to say a couple of things, and you tell me if it makes sense or if it doesn't make sense, okay? Okay. okay. Let's see. Uh, the woman is a family counselor. And the, the man has been having some stress at work and having difficulties with his family, so he finally ended up talking to a therapist. Is that possible? Yes, why not? Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, I, I didn't think about it. Perhaps she can be a, I don't know, a ther therapist or a counselor. Okay. And sure. the man uh, came to her to, I don't know, get some advice. Uh-huh. Sure. It's possible. Anything is possible. And let's see, last but not least, could you describe what kind of clothing they are wearing? Uh, not, not very, no, um, the man's wearing a shirt, kind of. Not not, specific, not a particular part of, of shirt. It is shirt uh, in neutral color. I've uh -huh. heard that conservative people <laughs> most of the time <laughs> <laughs> wear a neutral color because they don't want to. Uh, they want, don't want others to uh, know what is inside. Uh -huh. And a jean, and yes, a, a pair of jeans and. Uh, Likewise, the woman is wearing just like neutral color, and both of them are something, so, some color between gray and, uh, yes, gray and yeah, a little bit colorful gray. gray. Uh, it, it can be a business place. It's not a serious situation because they are some somehow cordial. Okay, Perhaps, and yeah. I'm going to give you three choices. Now, I'm going to come back. I'm going to give you three choices to describe their clothing, and you pick which one you think fits best. Uh, casual, business casual, or business formal? Business casual, I think. Okay. I, I would agree, because casual could be like a t-shirt and shorts, right? Yes, uh, yes. But business quite formal. Right, Some, right. Somewhere between, yes, casual and... And for mom. <laughs> sure, sure. I would say business. I think. Sure, sure. Yeah. All right. So, so you saw the situation. Can you ask me one question about it? Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> if you were him. Oh, the connection is. 
Uh, oh, it's not connecting. I heard the first part of the but question. You if I was to, him, uh, <laughs> you don't want others to know it. Which way you you uh, you would choose to <laughs> to flee? Ah, can can you repeat? Because it froze for a moment. Can you repeat yeah. the question? If you were him instead of a man, and Oh no! Ah! We... I can't understand. Ah! <laughs> it's... The connection is becoming very bad right now. Okay. I had to stop the connection because it was frozen, but if maybe what you could do is type your question in the comments and I will keep looking and if I see it then I will try to answer it, but I had to stop it because it was froze. <laughs> it kept freezing at the worst time, but if you could put your question in the comments and I will try to answer it, okay? It sounded like it was a good question because it started with, if you were the man. Hmm. All right. Oh, time. I think I'm going to be out of time. Da, 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 da. Let's see. Let's see. If you were a man, which one would you flee from? Says Sherry Shorefill. Maybe you guys heard the question. I wasn't able to hear it. Which one would I flee from? Hmm. Is someone trying to attack me? <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure what her question. There were choices, right? If you were the man and this or this or something like that. Hmm. I see Dundar Fatma says, what do you think the guy is feeling? I think he feels like they're accusing him of something. They're saying that he did something that is maybe true or false. I don't know. But he's like, ah. And he's putting his hands up, right, with his palms up to kind of show, you know, that he's more submissive. He's willing to work with them or he's willing to uh, try to defend his position, but in a non-threatening way. When we put our hands up, it's... We're not trying to threaten anyone. And plus, he's sitting very close to the woman, which makes me think that it's more of an informal setting because if he had done something or was there was a possibility of him, him being argumentative or violent, then uh, they would probably sit farther apart. All right. Let's see. So, hmm, I don't see... Let's see, what was her name? Gazal Hosseini. I don't see the question in the comment. Because I'm going to run out of time in just a moment. Da, 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 da. Let's take a look. All right. All right. Okay. Well, that is all the time that I have for today. We made it through five people, five questions, and five pictures. I love using pictures because just like the idiom says, a picture is worth a thousand words, right? So we can describe what's in the picture. We can talk about the weather, the setting, the environment, the clothing, the people. How do they look? How do they feel? There's just so many possibilities. All right. So, okay, until next time, that is it for today. I will say goodbye wherever you are in the world, whatever time of day it is. Good evening, good night, good afternoon, and everything in between. Okay, see you soon.